Today I fucked up by accidentally sending a long text to family that shouldn't have seen it. Well, today I fucked up by not paying attention to my Apple Watch. I was sitting and having a venting session to my husband about a family member and how I was frustrated with them. I went into detail about certain situations and explaining the frustration I was feeling and how I didn't agree with specific things. While this is going on, I keep getting text messages to my Apple Watch. I take a look and it's a group chat between my two aunts and I. We are very close and they know about this family member and my frustrations but not in detail. Well this is the fu part, unfortunately I went back to speaking to my husband and somehow my worst nightmare occurs. Siri was dictating the entire conversation and sent it to my group chat. I got up from the table went to charge my watch and when this happened I received two messages from my aunts asking what t and a what question mark but the problem was I couldn't see what they were asking about. I asked what are you guys asking about? And then this is when my heart dropped out of my asshole. They screenshot the beginning of the message. Mind you, they could only send me this much because it was so long they had to scroll multiple times to even read the message. I didn't even know text messages could be this long. This message was very detailed and not very nice to say the least. I had to call and explain why I was speaking about these things. It's all good now but wow my anxiety is so bad and hopefully I will be able to sleep tonight. I've learned not to trust my watch at this point. My aunts were very gracious and explained to me everyone vents and I couldn't be more thankful for having such understanding aunts. Even though I'm mortified, it could be worse and could have sent that all to the person I was speaking about. Too long didn't read, my Apple watch dictated a very long venting conversation and sent it to my aunts. I actually leave my phone in another room when I want to vent, or have a private conversation. Can't even imagine the anxiety you went through. All of your devices now listen and record everything you say. Privacy is long gone. Yeah I'm aware of that. But I've never had it dictate what I was saying and send a long ass text to someone. This doesn't happen. Or your Apple Watch has very different settings to mine. The factory setting is that Siri reads you back the dictated text in full, and asks shall I send this. So, this sounds like a story that's not true. You could literally turn that option off, it's not black magic. This is one of my actual worst nightmares. Today I fucked up by breaking my balls while parking. Many posts here have an obligatory this didn't happen today, but this incident occurred a few minutes ago. In my country most people drive a manual, and therefore you have to pull on a handbrake after you park. So after I parked at my spot like every day, I grabbed my phone and then tried to pull up the handbrake. Note that this is a routine I have done many, many times. Today, however, things were gonna be different. As usual I held the handbrake and yanked it up, only this time, instead of the handbrake, it was just my hand which went up, with enough force to make my phone slip out of the hand, jump a couple of feet into the air, and land directly on my balls. The phone weighed 200 grams, so it pains a lot. TL, doctor, don't try to pull on the handbrake hole holding your phone if you don't want your phone to bungee jump and kiss your balls. When you said the phone broke your balls, I thought it was a Nokia 3310 or something. Guys, remember those kind of phones? Won't break until a comet lands on it. Oh, it wouldn't break either, just make the hole deeper XD. Good time to remind all men to pay attention to your body when getting into and out of cars. Not for the op incident but to notice if you feel groin pain while moving. That happened to me once and I figured it was just something I pulled, haha, somehow getting in a car. In actuality, it was a subcutaneous boil on my testicles, and if you think it was fun going to a doctor for this, you'd be wrong. They did an ultrasound on me and still figured it was some scam. The thing got to be size of a golf ball and burst open in the shower and spewed blood and boil stuff everywhere. I almost died from sepsis, and would have if it hadn't drained out when it burst. Bursting inside my body would have been lethal. All of this could have been avoided if I had taken it seriously when it felt uncomfortable getting in the car. And things hurt which didn't hurt before, check it out. When they don't get better, check it out. When your balls feel wrong, check it out. 
I don't have balls but I have dropped my Note 9 on my nose so hard before it bled and bruised. Hope your nuts heal okay. Imagine not knowing the pain of balls. Lamau well played op. Mine is 192 grams what phone do you have? Note 10 plus. Today I fucked up by accidentally outing myself to my brother and thus probably also to my homophobic mum. As the title already mentions it, I accidentally outed myself some hours ago to my older brother. I, F, am bi, and I have a girlfriend. My family doesn't know anything about that and I didn't really plan to even tell them because my mother and my younger sister are deeply homophobic. I have some older siblings though. Especially my older brother, we were very close since I moved out of my mom's horror house at a young age. Let's call him John. So John and I have always been very close to each other and therefore discuss even a little. Weird topics. So like, this was about kissing and we were in a zoom call and he just started to talk about how he hasn't found a girlfriend yet and suddenly he drops but hey, I really like kissing girls. And me, the stupid person I am, just answers yes, me too. Obviously, my brother stops mid-sentence and stares at me who I am now sitting and seeing my life passing in front of my eyes. Because although John and I are close, John always was a snitch, yes, being 28 years old, and it's obvious he'd tell my mum. He quickly ended the call even though I was begging him not to tell mum and said he needs some time to think. I'm scared to be honest, afraid my mother, even though I don't live at her home anymore, will do something horrible. Yes she tried to attack or stalk me several times, police even got called and stuff. All my siblings, especially my younger sister, 17, who is under the strong control of my homophobe mother. Too long didn't read, accidentally outed myself to my older brother as bisexual. He is a snitch and will probably tell my homophobic mother. I'm sorry that your family is like this. You are fine the way you are. I genuinely have no idea why an adult sibling would do this to someone he apparently loves. I'm sorry to say but I hope you lose his number after that. All the best, I hope you're able to keep yourself safe during this time. There's lots of online resources and communities you can reach out to if you're needing some LGBT plus support. Such a shitty family dynamic, I'm sorry you're going through that. I know their family but at the end of the day focus on what and who makes you happy. Fuck the rest. Good luck. Hope it turns out okay, worried face. Why is a 28 year old still a snitch? By that age he should be able to keep a secret and not have some overriding desire to be a dickhead. Sounds like the unfortunate outcome of having grown up in a psychologically controlling household with a mother like the one op described. Many people are able to break free of those chains once they move out but sadly not everyone does.